I only did like 24. I thought I was doing well. Doing well. Uh, rematch. First round last year when the Knicks beat the Cavs in five. Uh, re more like repeat. Yep. Uh, Cavs very short-handed against Jalen Brunson and the Knicks. Donovan Mitchell. Had a good first half. So you had no Darius Garland, you had no Jared Allen, you had no oh. Harris Levert on the Cleveland. You had no five. chance. Uh, yep. I tell you what, if the Cavs get healthy, man, that, that could be a, a they could be nice. It'll be interesting to watch. It's kind of to me, it's yeah. almost like you know you're waiting to see what that team will look like together. Kind of well, because they had a good Phoenix. Oh, they had a good team you know, last year, yeah. and then they added Struess. Right. Yeah. George Niang also. Yeah, is, uh, but I tell you, Philadelphia to me, I thought they had a good day today. Yeah, you can't be taking charges Ooh, with your oh, steps. Oh. <laughs> Mitchell had 20 oh, in the first Euro, half. He's he finished with 26. He's a ghost right there. Oh, New York good. outscored him 28 to 16 in the third quarter and put this thing to bed. Emmanuel quickly stepping back. How good are the Knicks, Chuck? And Julius well, the Knicks Randall are just a decent team. They're not good enough. To me, you, you saw the movie last year. They, they got the same team basically last year. Quickly and one. And there is your 109 to 91 final score. Uh, as Brunson goes for 19, so does Randall. Uh, R.J. Barrett had 16, quickly 18. Um, Cleveland losing their third straight. They are one and three, and again, waiting for everybody to get healthy. After the game, Stephanie ready with Jalen Brunson. Jalen, you guys took control of this game in the third quarter. How'd you do it? Um, we just kept putting um, runs together. Uh, they weren't going to quit, but you know, we had to con continue to uh, just find ways to keep getting stops. And I mean, you know, it was a really a grinded out game, and uh, nothing really came easy tonight, but. For us, and then we got to continue to grind, continue to sit together, and um, you know, fight through a little bit of adversity. I don't think we played, you know, a way where we weren't competing. I think we were competing, um, but I think it's it's the nature of it. You come out and miss your first 11 shots in the third quarter, um, you're gonna have a hard time staying in games. And again, you know, you go back and watch them, and they played the right way. They shared the ball. They created open shots for one another. Uh, the shots just didn't go. And the tough thing about that is they got to play the same team again tomorrow night in their gym as they play at the Garden. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting because they're about, we, we said Boston and Milwaukee are ahead of the class uh, in the Eastern Conference. It's evident. No one, I don't even think players could deny it um, that are around. But the difference is which team will make the correct move or the right player develops into putting them in that class. Um, I'm not sure of Philadelphia where they where they stand with the all the new additions. There's still possibly some movement that might happen again with Philadelphia. So we don't know if that team is set. But no one is in the class of Boston or no one is in the class of Milwaukee when those teams uh, I think are healthy. Boston Boston first Milwaukee second. I, li I actually like what my six has done because a couple of reasons. Number one I think them going to Maxi with the ball more is going to speed them up. I think that's going to help Tobias Harris because he's the guy who he was the odd man out the way the team was structured. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think Philadelphia is just as good. Now, can they make any moves to get up there with Boston and Milwaukee? That's going to be the big question. But they got all the air back in the mm -hmm. room. There's nobody hogging the air. Listen, <laughs> they got the air. MVP. You got the MVP, you like, okay, we got a chance. Joel is a hell of a player. I like Maxi. I told you, I think that the James leaving gonna really help Tobias Harris. To hire, Tobias Harris didn't all of a sudden not be a good basketball player. He just wasn't getting any shots. And I think it's gonna help him. But I think the best thing about Philadelphia is they actually have a bench now. Yeah. You, know, you know, everyone knows who one and two in the East is, but I think that's about four or five teams that can compete for three and four, Cleveland being one of them. But I think Donovan Mitchell has to understand and realize, and I know he does, that when you're the guy, you got to play every night. You know, I, I, I raised the bottom 20 points the first half, but you can't end a game with 26 points. So, you know, the, the, the more he dominates, especially when they get healthy, 
the better this team will be. It's all on him. That is the uh, that is the question when they get healthy. When uh, when you get all those guys in there, we'll see. It's kind of tough. I to actually get a read I right actually now. love their team yeah. when they're healthy. Right. I do. You know, I'm a big Jared Allen fan. I, I mean, I think Donovan's a heck of a player. Kenny loves Mobley. Levert can score on any given night. Not Yang, the Struce, Garland, and, yeah. Struce and Garland. I'm telling you, if no Cleveland doubt. could get healthy, in my opinion, they're right there with Philadelphia battling for the third and fourth spot. 109-91, the final score tonight as the Knicks go to 2-2 two and two and the Cavs dip to 1-3. and three. We're not going to make it through a whole season of NBA on TNT without the show. I'm going to knock Chuck ass out. I promise you. It's what we do, man. Let's say what. We, hey, I'm going to hit you in the head with a damn pumpkin over here. Unless when it doesn't get sideways, we wonder what happened. That's hey, funny, you ever hit in the head with a pumpkin? You want to do it right now? Yeah, I, I stole a pumpkin at your ass. <laughs> That's funny, Kenny. <laughs>